guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about filter packages. So in Vegas Pro, you can build complex chains with videos effects and save them as effect packages. Because these packages let you quickly apply the same chain anywhere in your project without having to rebuild it from scratch. So anytime that you're working on a project and you have like, let's say three or four LUT filters onto one shot, but they're very, very subtly in there. You have a little bit of HSL adjust, a little bit of like brightness and contrast. Obviously you don't want to go ahead and start that from scratch if you need to apply those same effects to like eight new tracks in your project down the line. So it's super simple how you can pretty much save those as effect packages. You can apply effect packages at like four levels. So the first one is obviously the event, the track, the media, or the video bus itself. So for this example, let's focus on the event level effects. All right, so for this video, let's go ahead and do a little bit of color grading. I'm not saying color grading like in terms of like saturation because this shot is actually already pretty saturated. So let's go ahead and mess around a little bit more with like black and white effects. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit video effects right here and then on the search bar on the top left, we're going to type in black and then we can tell that we have the black and white option right here. So let's go ahead and drag that one onto the clip right here. And just for the sake of showing you guys that it's actually possible to do this with a little bit more effects, let's also drag in a brightness and contrast. But this counts for every single effect and it doesn't matter how much you have. So now if we drag those two next to each other, as you can tell, let's take the black and white a little bit off and let's go ahead and take it somewhere in the middle. That is some sort of like vintage looking photo. So now that we have that one and let's go ahead and make it a little bit darker by bringing down the brightness and bringing up the contrast. So let's say that you have this clip right now or those effects rather uh, ready on this clip and you want to have other shots look the exact same in order to avoid having to keep in mind all right the contrast is 0.3 etc and apply that on different effects we're going to save this one as a uh, package okay so let's pretend that we have like eight different effects on there because obviously those two are quite simple but let's go ahead and save those right now as a filter package so we're going to click right here where it says save plugin chain as a filter package so when we click that, it's going to open up this little box where we can obviously give it a name. So let's say that we're going to type in castle for this one, for this reference. Then if we're going to hit OK, it's automatically saved. So now if you want to apply this to a different clip, what we're going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this track, for example, like that. So let's pretend that this is a different clip. So as you can tell, everything is back to normal. If you want to apply this filter package, right here we're gonna click on the effects button. That's gonna open up the plugin chooser. Right here on the left hand side, we're gonna hit filter packages. And of course, we're going to look for castle, which is right here. And if we pay attention to the preview screen, as you can tell, if we hit OK, it's going to apply it straight onto it, how it looked how, when we just saved it. It doesn't matter how many effects you have, you can stack 10 different LUT filters on there. HSL adjust, no matter what kind of color grading that you're doing, you can save that chain as one big package and just apply all of those effects and those settings onto new clips and tracks. Now, let's say that you have a lot of different clips on the same track. For example like this and we have many different ones not always the same one i know this is the same shot of a castle but let's say you have like a whole vlog for example and you don't want to apply all of those chains onto those different clips one by one what we're going to do is we're going to apply this on the whole track so right here it says effects button right here and obviously we will open up the exact same menu we're going to hit the word castle right here we're going to hit add and okay and of course it's applied twice right now because it's already on the clip but if i uncheck it as you can tell, this is how it looks and the whole track is pretty much affected. Every single clip that's on this track will have this color grading. So if you want to be careful and you don't want to have certain clips have this effect, then don't apply it to the whole track and then just apply it on the clip manually. We can also do this on the bus. So you don't want to click on this effects button right here. That's for adding effects onto the master audio bus. But in order to do that, what we can do is go to the filter packages tab which is right here. Then we're gonna click right here in all our presets on castle. Then this one shows up and obviously this is what you can drag onto the preview screen. You can drag this onto the clip. You can drag this onto the track. You can drag this anywhere on the project depending on how many clips you wanna have affected. This works the exact same for audio. Right here, if you click the effects button on an audio track, for example, we have tons of different plugins that we can, of course, apply onto the track. Let's say that we're gonna pick a de a C6 stereo. You can like trim off a little bit of the bottom end if your audio is a little bit boxy. You wanna hit on plugin chain right here. And then right here, you click on save as, you give it a name, for example, vlog audio, you hit okay. 
and then you can drag that onto the track on the master bus right here on the fader and that's pretty much how it works. So those are the filter packages, guys. Save a lot of, lot of time by just making a lot of tons of chains and just save them. And something that I also wanted to show you guys is that you can also share those packages if you need to send them over to a different editor, for example. So it's really simple how you get a hold of those files of the actual chain. You click right here where it says filter packages, you hit this folder icon, and then obviously it's gonna show you where they are stored. You take this file, you drop it into a Wii transfer or a Google Drive or Mediafire. The editor can download this straight to their computer and then you can actually apply it from there. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to grab Vegas Pro 23 through the link down in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.